Hello everybody, this is Renato Abate from Dreams. Today we're going to be talking about social justice posters. Social justice is the distribution of wealth, opportunities, and privileges within a society. When you make a social justice poster, you're trying to promote positive change in society and your community. Let's look at some of these posters and get some ideas. This is a really good one. It really gets the message across. I really like this poster. It's different. It's bright. It seems positive. Look at the beautiful art on this one with the octopus and the words. It really gets a point across. This one with the lines and the color. Boom. Poor is not the answer. This one's awesome. No human is illegal. I believe that. Fight the power. No justice, no peace. I like how this one pulls back the curtain on some truth. Here's an historical one. It's about 80 years old. Now keep the immigrants, deport the racists. This one's really bold. I love the use of line, it just draws you in. The feeling about this one, love, peace, life, justice, freedom, and equality. All good messages. Now this is about war and how America has been at war for most of its history. You know, we're not a super peace loving nation. We also have a huge problem with guns. America is the most armed country in the world. And uh, this is about the environment. And uh, environmental issues are huge. You know, we live in a port city where there's lots of toxic uh, outgassing from uh, different production. This one's about the farm workers and getting sprayed with pesticides. This one addresses the abuse of Asian people. These posters are about equal rights and treating each other with kindness and taking care of each other. All right, we're all one, we're all humans. Yeah, we all need to work together to make the world a better place. Serving each other to make a better community. Now there's also some funny signs and I thought I'd add some of these. Yeah, this one right here is ridiculous. This guy hates crowds, but in the middle of a crowd. And uh, this person right here, I'm a little upset. <laughs> you wanna have a clear message. Use humor and wit, keep it simple. Remember, the presentation matters and be passionate. I'm passionate about the environment and air quality where I live. Once you figured out what you want to protest about, it's time to come up with your poster. Here's some different kinds of letterings you could use. This is bubble lettering. Bubble lettering is fun and simple to do. You just write your regular letter and then outline it to fatten it up. Yeah, I recommend practicing your lettering, you know, drawing your name, starting out and doing it three different ways. See which one's the boldest, the best that you can see and read from the furthest. Uh, I think these letters look good. I like their, their simplicity and uh, they're different than you usually see. Now these ones are really bold and uh, these would be good for smaller words. If you saw a bunch of these letters on a page, it might be hard to read. You can cut your letters out of paper, different colors paper and paste it to your board. You know, different shapes. I think that would be interesting to do. You can also use like your Sharpie and uh, different types of lines to really go and express something. Now there's also color. You know, different color combinations can really pop and uh, you can play around with the color and uh, see what works best for your poster. Different sizes can emphasize the importance of different things. I really like this poster, but it doesn't work that well because it's hard to read all those words but I get the point. Here's a classic poster from the 60s, straight up and down, nothing fancy. So brainstorm and find out what you're passionate about and what you wanna change. How are you gonna make your community better? What's the cause you're passionate about? Start by sketching out four or five different ideas on a piece of paper and then pick the best one and blow it up. I'm Renato Abate and this was part one 
of social justice posters. Hope you guys enjoyed it and stand by for part two. All right.